Right now with another bit of truth. Now we go break down this supposed be puff daddy that you see on screen with the sodomite that right here they call Cassie. Now both of them supposed to be gang up on the masses and they call themselves power couple because this is a so-called singer and this is a rapper slash producer. All fake shit and I must show you the world is just a stage and for the most part these supposed to be puppet that they put on they're gonna bring them to public humiliation. That's Freemasonry. Same thing they do with Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, all of them, all Kelly, all set up and by design. Now, one thing you need to understand about Puff Daddy before we get into this video. Yes, he's supposed to be bringing you all those supposed to be remix. And he's a billionaire. Listen to me. Now, he remix music. Every single song that Puff Daddy supposed to be pro produced. It's already made. It was a made song. And I already told you about familiarity. So yes, Puff Daddy is a government puppet. And they want to put him on in the spotlight. So they let him remix all those government songs. That's it. So even the biggest smalls, all of those songs that you hear, Notorious, all of those songs that you hear produced by Puff Daddy was a song already out. So pay attention, people. Even the Mary J. Blige that they say he blow up on or start out on all of them remix people. So if he had to pay out all that royalty to those owners of those music, how could you be a billionaire? How could you be more richer than regular producers? Don't make no sense. So this is what they put on the puffy for right here. The same drama that they're going to bring you right here with the sodomite they call Cassie. All of them is fake on the masses. Just make it wrong. Disturbing allegations against Sean Diddy mm -hmm. Combs. He's accused of rape, sex listen. trafficking, and abuse by his former girlfriend. So See, listen to these people. They was together like, like girlfriends. They say girlfriends and boyfriend, they call them, basically. So they're together. They call them power couple. And all of this shit was going on behind closed doors. You better wake your ass up. So you're telling me that you have a singer, you're a producer, you're, you're both together. And he tie you up in a situation where you can't leave. It's a bullshit. 100% made up. And this the reason why they put on the Puff Daddy. Period. Remember he could never be a real producer. He could never really be a rapper. Or a supposed be billionaire. With those fake music that they put him on with. Listen this. This is why they put him on. Naveen Dhaliwal has the details tonight. Mm -hmm. They were a power Listen, couple. Power couple. And take a look at every time you see this sodomite right there with the, with the puff daddy. Pay attention. Is it is the, this person look like it's in an hostage situation to you? As you can see the puff daddy with the black and white and the rays on the clothing. All Freemasonry. Pay attention. Mogul Sean Combs, mm -hmm, also known as P. Diddy or Puff Daddy, mm -hmm. an R&B singer. Cassie. And Cassie ain't no damn R&B singer. You have to understand. It's just another puppet they put on for this exact reason. That's the reason why they put them on with that one hit song. And then now Puff Daddy supposed to be getting trouble for raping them. It's fake shit. Wake your ass up. Both of them is two sodomites working for the system. Are you being entertained? Because it's just TV shows. Pay attention. Hand in hand on red carpets mm -hmm. together go. for more than a decade. Mm -hmm. But now Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, mm -hmm. is slapping Combs with a lawsuit Ventura. alleging sex trafficking, and sexual... Take a look at them, people. Pay attention to them. The Cassie always smiling while Puff Daddy put up the devil horns right there. Two devil characters and the masses, but bad boy. The whole thing is fake. 100% fakery. And don't trust these flat plated chess man that they give you for female, but Cassie, that's according. 100% abuse in. and violence mm -hmm. in court documents, Ventura says. Mm -hmm. During their relationship, she was often punched, beat, Listen. kicked, and stomped on by wow, Combs. Oh, what a damn joke. Puff Daddy is just a damn gay man they bring on the scene. He probably a transformed bitch. 100% in. You don't understand? He probably an invert just like that Cassie. Don't let them fool you no more about kickbacks and punch. All of these shits is a hoax. 100% in. These are puppets. And that's what they use puppets to do. Ship. She was Put often punched, beat, kicked and stomped mm -hmm. on by Combs. Claiming... I guess you beat them before you take them to the Grammy Awards. It's dumb shit. 
Wake your ass up with a bam. He forced her to engage in sex Listen. acts with male sex workers. Listen, people, male sex workers. So Puff Daddy go hire some male hoes to have sex with his girlfriend so he can watch. I already told you people, all this shit that gonna come out, just like the R. Kelly case, all disgusting shit they bring bringing to the masses, like I say, devil work right here on earth. That's what they do. And they're gonna bring all this shit to the public. What a damn joke. And introduced her to a look lifestyle. Look at these people, take a look. Look at the Cassie right there, people, and you tell me if this was a hostage. It makes no fucking sense. Are you dumb? Both of them playing mind games and the damn public. Pay attention right there, people. What you think about lifestyle, alcohol, and, and substance abuse? That's what they do. That's what all of them motherfuckers do. They abuse drugs and alcohol are trying to let you feel like that's what they do so you can follow suit. That's why most of these people, regular people, hooked on alcohol and drugs. Because of these sodomites that they give you on the spotlight. Of excessive alcohol mm -hmm. and substance abuse. A in a statement, Ventura look says. People. Look at them people. It's two of them running games on the masses. That's what you need to understand. As you could see the Hilton over the head right there. The sodomite. Hilton is 33. Numerology is just coding. Both of them is two fakers on the masses. You understand? Wake up. Years in silence and darkness, Listen. I'm finally ready to tell my story well, and to speak joke. up on behalf of myself mm -hmm. and for the benefit of other women. Who yes, and for the benefit of other women, they're always going to tell you they're going to come out to benefit other women. And you're in this situation for over 20 years and you're still in it. What a damn joke. Now you're going to come out for other women? Why are you in this situation for that long? Keeping silent, grinning your teeth in public and everything is bullshit. Wake your ass up. Violence and abuse in their relationships. Mm -hmm. But Combs' attorney says Combs Ventura demanded... Every time you look at the sodomite, they call Puffy Combs. Look at his face, people. Wow, unbelievable. Just like you see the, the stories coming out now with Will Smith. They give him the spotlight. Yes, he slapped Chris Rock, supposedly. Yes, blow him up and put down the Chris Rock and then bam. They come out and tell you that somebody basically was was basically seeing Will Smith having sex with another man, a dancer that they work, that work for them. What kind of shit is they bringing to the masses with these dirty characters they put in the spotlight? You don't get it. All of them is in on it. The public humiliation is Freemasonry. Wake your ass up. $3 million dollars from Combs under Three a threat clothing. to write a tell- Look at the Freemason clothing that they have on right there, people. Why do you believe in these characters? Both of them is two sodomites. Working for the devil against the people. Why would you believe them? Move. A book about the relationship and says, quote, Ms. Ventura now mm -hmm. resorted to filing a lawsuit Ventura. riddled with <laughs> baseless and outrageous oh. lies aiming mm -hmm. to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. Listen to the song, people, and I'm done. Take a listen to this Cassie and the song that supposedly make it an artist. What a damn joke. All they do is order tune, find out the voice, and then give you a beat behind it, and you say it's a song. Bullshit on. Ventura was signed to Bad Boy Entertainment, mm -hmm. meeting Combs when she was 19. Listen. Now she claims those years were dark times. There you go. From 19 years old, you're with the Puff Daddy, and it was dark times, and you feel like talking about it now. The old thing sounds stupid. This is what they give you to consume your mind and your brain nowadays, people. All bullshit coming from these puppets. Don't pay attention to it. It's this distraction. 100%. Criminal defense attorney Jason Goldman has defended Goldman. some high-profile clients. Mm -hmm. These claims, they mm -hmm. took place in different cities. Apparently, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different people involved. Uh -huh. you know, Just let's like see the R. The Kelly bullshit, people. Just like the R. Kelly bullshit. They're walking around with hostages. Hostages going to, to restaurants, take them to shows. Grammy Awards, take them all over the place and they hostage. What a damn joke. Yes, so Puff Daddy iron male prostitute to have sex with his girlfriend. What a dumb shit for the masses. Like I say, these dirty shit that they bring to you, all programming. Strong That's all with those individuals. Mm -hmm. Ventura's case is being brought under the Adult Survivors Act yes, that allows sex Delta. abuse Listen. victims to file lawsuits mm -hmm. after the statutes of limitations has expired. Why would they wait so long for it to even come close to statute of limitation? 
Why you have to make a law for them to, to come out and tell you that they get raped? Why you have to put something on the table for women to come out to tell you they get raped? What kind of dumb shit is that, people? That sound curious to me. If you have to put some law on the table to tell women to come out if people rape them, it's dumb shit. And this is what they set up for the public. You're going to have this shit happen all the time now in the public. Women calling out man say they raped them from from back in the days. All bullshit Fire. for the people. And now this law mm -hmm. is expiring law. next week. Wow. You'd expect some Listen. sort of level of outcry that someone mm -hmm. can come in and say, you know what, she told me about this in 2012. Listen. That's going to help them a lot if wow. they can present those types of witnesses to say, mm -hmm. yes, she did tell me this. What it a dumb shit, people. It makes no sense. Yes, she did tell you this, but she wouldn't tell the law enforcement or nothing. She just keep going out with this sodomite. Are you serious, people? They're going out having fun, laughing and chatting, mingling and rub shoulders in with the sodomites, and then you say you was held hostage. Move. Listen. Listen to the music, people. Pay attention to the music. Only thing you can hear is the beat and that whining sound in the background. That's not a human being real voice. When you hear an artist and they sound like chipmunk, what that tell you? When they sound like chipmunk, like the fucking chipmunks, what that mean? It mean it's auto-tune, people. That's the same thing they call auto-tune. They fine-tune the voice. They make the voice what they want it to be. They can make it sound good on records. But if you hear that motherfucker sing for real, your ears boss. You hear me? Pay attention here. Listen. Look. Wow. R&B singer Cassie has accused hip hop. Oh, R&B singer, what a damn joke, people! This is how they put on fake artists on you. You buy it because you love music, but you don't get it. These are all fakers they're putting on in the music industry. They don't have to know how to sing for real. Just like the puffy, what kind of talent the puff that he have? You understand now? Okay. Well, Sean Diddy Combs of rape mm -hmm. and a decade of physical abuse. The two joke. were romantically involved for mm -hmm. years, but in a lawsuit made public today, mm -hmm. Cassie lawsuit. says there was a pattern of control, mm -hmm. drug use, and forced sexual encounters. KTLA 5 joke. Samantha Cortez joins us live in wow. studio with more details on the bombshell lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Sam? Yeah, singer Cassie said. met mogul Sean Combs when she was a teenage model mm -hmm. for his clothing line. Hear that, people? When she was a teenage model for his clothing line. Now you're getting it, people. It's bullshit. The whole thing is fakery. So you have a 19-year-old that was modeling your clothes, and then you take her on as a singer? <laughs> what a damn joke. I already told you, people. The whole story is made up. It's a fake shit for the dumb masses. And I tell you, is just distraction. Why they destroy you in the new world? This is just waste of time. A nearly right twenty year age gap, but their mm -hmm. relationship became romantic and lasted romantic. a decade. Oh, did you now know? Cassie's claiming that Met, Met Gala mm -hmm. behind the scenes, the uh -huh. award shows, the relationship was fraught with abuse wow. and intimidation. What a damn joke! Oh, you're the one I wanna wow. give it to. You wow. couldn't escape this song in 2000. You couldn't escape it because the government people want you to know it. So when you know it later on, they can bring your sigh up with the same song and the sodomite behind it. Do you got it? That's what they do, people. The whole thing is just a show. Fake on. Mm -hmm. Now Cassandra like Ventura, bastard. stage name Cassie, says mm -hmm. she couldn't escape the bad boy himself, Listen. Sean Combs. And of course, they have to mention bad boy. Just like they tell you, the label... The Puff Daddy record label is bad boy and they give you the biggest smiles that play bad. Yes, was selling drugs and everything in the street and end up get shot. <laughs> Gone down in the street. You believe it, people? All fake shit they give you. And even the biggest smiles. He show you that he was on the world stage with all those music that he was doing. Life after death, ready to die, all of this shit. With even the casket with him in it on his album cover. And then, bam, he dead when he young. This is what they do with the masses right here. The whole thing is a show, and they're still bringing it to In you. In a bombshell mm -hmm. lawsuit, Look, Cassie alleges the Bad White. Boy Records music mogul mm -hmm. physically and sexually abused her mm -hmm. throughout course. their 10-year relationship, mm -hmm. which began when she was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. and of course, and look at the neck, people. As you could see, this look man in a drag-looking thing right there with the stars on. 
lipstick to show you that it is a drag and pay attention look that's the cross on the same thing you see puff daddy wear both of them is too satanic puff it's 37 37 coding for fakery that's what you need to know pay attention all of these fake music you get from the puff daddy to make him a billionaire what a joke I wanna do mm-hmm. I wanna be ballers mm-hmm. shot callers brawlers the lawsuit headlines with a trigger warning for containing graphic sexual trigger assault warning. information, describing joke. in detail sex mm-hmm. trafficking allegations. Sex trafficking. You see that people like I don't tell you. That's what they put on the regular human being. You see when they show you this and tell you Puff Daddy accused of it, it make it more huge. You have to understand they can charge more people now for sex trafficking. You have to understand. It's all bullshit for the dumb mass. It's government agenda. In which Combs would force Cassie to take drugs, wear right. masks, and perform And se- wear masks? This is the dumbest shit in the world. The government forced you to wear masks in the pandemic. This is a garbage story right here. So pay attention. Let's go back a little bit. Listen. Sex trafficking allegations uh-huh. in which Combs would force Cassie to take drugs, mm-hmm. wear masks, and perform sex acts on no, other... No, you don't have to force nobody to take drugs, people. What's wrong with you? It's just some dumb shit they're giving you right here, people. You don't have to force these people to take drugs and alcohol. That's what they do. The Met Gala, the partying and all of these things, that's what they do, people. Can you believe this shit right here? Unbelievable. Dumb shit. So he could watch. Cassie says Combs raped her when she tried to leave him. Yes, and he raped her when she tried to leave him. So the whole time, you didn't try to leave. Yeah. Listen, people, the whole time she never tried to leave until after these years and years and years of abuse. Now you're trying to leave and then he get to rape you. So why would he just wait till when you're going to leave? He's going to rape you and you say he was doing all these things to you from day one. Unbelievable. Says Fake. he beat her, then made her stay in hotels or his home until the bruises healed. What a and joke. his security would wow. make sure she did what Combs wanted uh-huh. or else. Uh-huh. The federal civil lawsuit. Same thing they tell you with the R. Kelly people is fake shit. Even claims Combs blew up rapper Kid Cudi's car when he heard about Cassie and Cudi's brief relationship. Wow. Cudi's lawyers confirmed this happened. Yes, he blew up. Kid Cody car, like I say, all of them gonna be involved in this fake right here. Government shit for the masses. They're entertaining you. Just like you see them right there. <laughs> it's just entertainment. Sunray and the damn ears right there. All of them is fakery. And take a look at the clothing puff that he have on. You don't get it. It's fakery they're giving the masses all year around. Don't take shit from them. All of them going through their Freemasonry. Public humiliation. All of them. Catch me on the run. I'm gone.